need you right now. <laughs> yeah. Don't let me okay. So what I wanted to address in this video is basically the title of this video. Everybody should go natural. And this is a video response to um, Joycey MD. I watched her video today and I told her I was going to do a video response in the comment section. So this is my video response to um, your video, Joycey MD. Um, what I think about this topic is, okay, so we're going to start with me before I started my hair journey. When I started my hair journey, I was not passionate about natural hair. I was not enthusiastic. I didn't care about my hair. I didn't care for my hair. I didn't maintain my hair. I was literally in and out of protective styles. And back then, it wasn't protective style for me. It was my go-to style for me. I would always, always rock braids all the time. So once I started my hair journey, um, I was filled with so much excitement. I was filled with so much enthusiasm with so much passion I felt so good about myself I felt like I discovered a secret about myself and the best kept secret about myself so when you say everybody should go natural this is exactly how I felt at the beginning of my hair journey and for a while through my hair journey once I figured this out, I needed to tell someone else. I needed to tell, I told my friend and I inspired, I, I was an, I aspired, she aspired to me and she um, decided that she was going to go back natural. When I started my hair journey and for a while through my hair journey, I felt like everybody should go natural because I felt like because it made me feel so good and it made me feel so great about myself that I wanted everybody else to go back, nat every black person that I knew to go back natural because it just made me feel so good about myself and I never felt so great about myself Be and it coming from myself that I felt so good for my about myself. Joycey MD mentioned in her video that when she went natural, um, she felt so like good about herself that she wanted people to feel the way that she felt about herself and she felt that everybody should go natural from the point of view that she felt good about herself and she wanted other people to feel great about themselves as well she wasn't coming from the point of view that nowadays some naturals feel like you should go natural because you should just go natural because that's a thing and that's a trend and whatever I agree with her in the sense that everybody should go natural um, because it you do f it's it I can't explain it but you ha it's just a journey where you have to go it's your own journey where you find out things about yourself that you just never knew about yourself it's more than hair it provided me with so much confidence yes it was a struggle at the beginning and for a while it was a struggle. I made sure that I rocked my hair every day until I felt comfortable with myself. Every day until I felt comfortable with myself. I didn't feel comfortable with my natural hair. And I've mentioned this in other videos. If you have watched my other videos, I've mentioned this a couple of times. I was not comfortable with my natural hair and I didn't feel liberated or confident in myself after doing my big chop until seven months later after doing my big chop. But I gave myself the chance to get used to and to go through the struggle and the trial and errors that came with cutting off all my hair and getting to my, know myself again and getting to know myself naturally. I gave myself time. Now, people only see the outcome of what we have done and what we do weekly, daily, and monthly to our hair and what we do to and our mindset. They don't see what the struggles that we go through. So when people say they're struggling with their hair, I get it. I understand where you're coming from. It can be a struggle sometimes. But nothing that was worth it ever came easy. Nothing that was worth it ever came easy. When you know when you know when it's hard and it's you you have to struggle through it that 
it is definitely going to be worth it in the end because you are not putting all this effort and going through all this pain and not pain, but you know what I mean when I say this to just end up with nothing. It doesn't work that way. And like I continue to say, what you put out there is what you'll receive back. Another thing that Joycey MD mentioned in her video is that she has seen a, a lot. She has, her mindset has changed and she feels that not everybody can go natural. But the term even to go natural doesn't even make sense. The correct term to use is everybody should go back to their natural states. You were born, you came into this world naturally. You are natural. You came into this world naturally. You can only go back to your natural state. You can't go natural. You you were natural when you came into this world. Why I still kind of feel like everybody should go back to their natural state is because that is your best state. And don't you want to give yourself that chance to work best with your best self do you understand what i mean you may not notice that you are damaging yourself but you are damaging yourself unconsciously you don't know who you who else could be looking up to you and they're saying they're saying and they're saying oh well my natural self must not be the best state of me when in fact it really is and you're giving that message message off it's more than it's more it's it's more it's more than you it's not about you it's more than you i feel like yes some people feel like it's not for them but what i really think these people feel unconsciously is that they are not used to this they have not given their, themselves the chance to get used to feeling, to the, the chance to get used to maintaining their hair on a regular basis. Just like when you brush, when you, how you brush your your, your mouth, every, your teeth every day, every day, and you keep up your and you maintain your oral hygiene every day. You have to pay attention to your hair. You have to listen to your hair every day, every week, every month and listen and get to know your hair. Give your hair a chance. Give your hair a chance. You cannot say that natural hair isn't for me. Your natural hair is an extension of your nervous system. How can it not be for you? It doesn't make sense. Now, I am not giving out to you this claim right here. I'm not giving out to you. This is my opinion. This is how I feel about the situation. Because you can't say that it's not for you when it, in fact, it was made for you. Your natural, your hair, the hair that comes out of your scalp is what you were born with. It is a, an extension of your body and who you are physically. Now tell me that is in part that that it, that that is not for you. Tell me how that isn't for you, and then give me a good argument, and then maybe I'll start. Maybe I'll start understanding where this "it's not for me" thing came from because I really don't understand it. And I feel like it's another leeway that people use to um, to kind of cut away, to avoid trying to give your hair a chance and giving yourself a chance to try and get used to and see where you can you can bring your hair, like what your hair could could potentially be. Do you understand what I mean? I just don't understand where this "it's not for me" came from. I just don't understand that. I personally think that if you ever want to grow in something and you want to start being able to succeed in something, you should start with yourself. When you're able to do this with yourself, imagine what you can do with other things. Imagine what you could tap into, what you could, when you tap into something and you, you you go through the struggles and the trials and the errors and you're able to succeed in that thing because you've already started with yourself and you know that you can do it, that there's potential in you and then you can start putting that potential 
into other things and seeing that potential in other things and being able to reach the optimum of that of those things. That's how I view it anyway. So that's my video response to Joyce MD's um everybody should go natural video. Before you say it's not for you, please evaluate the pro the problem and the issues that you're going through before you ever say it's not for me. Relaxers chemicals they're damaging and you are avoiding you are avoiding this fact. It's a, yes, it's a fact that is damaging your body slowly you are slowly killing yourself with these chemicals and i'm not saying that there are no chemicals in other things but please evaluate the problem and the issues that you're going through with yourself and with your hair before you say it's not for you because it was made for you that's all i have to say and i hope you guys enjoyed this video i will see you guys in my next video bye guys